Senator Mitchell acknowledges in his report that the ultimate decisions on discipline rest with the commissioner, and he is correct. That, of course, was Commissioner Bud Selig responding to the Mitchell report, which was made public yesterday. Hi, and welcome to the Friday edition of the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I'm Amber Wilson for CBSSports.com. Yesterday's release of the investigation into performance-enhancing drugs by former Senate Majority Leader George Mitchell did a lot of things. It reprimanded Major League Baseball along with the Players Union for widespread doping. It depicted a decade-long era of rampant drug use among Major Leaguers, but most notably, it brought up names. And one name in particular, seven-time Cy Young Award winner Roger Clements was arguably the biggest name linked to the investigation. The report included testimony from former Blue Jays and Yankees trainer Brian McNamee, who said he not only supplied Clemens with steroids, but in fact injected the 354 game winner. Clemens' lawyer released a statement yesterday denying the reports in the investigation and claiming that they were made by a troubled man. All of the fallout from the Mitchell report yesterday overshadowed a historical day for Alex Rodriguez and the Yankees as the two sides finally completed the 10-year, $275 million deal that will keep A-Rod in pinstripes probably for the rest of his career. The contract, the richest in baseball history, broke the previous mark set by A-Rod when he signed with the Rangers in 2000. A-Rod described the proceedings as a debacle, which included his agent Scott Boris announcing that he would opt out of his current contract during Game 4 of the World Series. It may have gone unnoticed due to either the Mitchell Report or the fact that it was on the NFL Network, but the Texans hosted the Broncos to start off Week 15 in the NFL. The Texans more than doubled Denver's rushing output and scored three times on the ground to stay alive in the AFC playoff picture, while pretty much keeping the Broncos out of it for the second straight year. Sage Rosenfeld improved to 2-0 as a starter this season in relief of Matt Schaub. He's thrown for 11 TDs compared to just nine for Schaub. Hawks rookie Al Horford was suspended yesterday for one game for his flagrant foul against the Raptors' TJ Ford. Horford struck Ford in the head on a fast break. Horford was ejected from the game, and T.J. Ford was held in the hospital overnight. Horford did visit T.J. during his stay. Last night in L.A., Tim Duncan continued to miss time with an ankle injury, and on top of that, Tony Barger's ankle kept him on the sideline. What's more, well, Mina Ginobili shot just 5 of 17 from the field for 14 points, and the Spurs still had a chance to beat Kobe and the Lakers. L.A. needed an 18-5 fourth-quarter run to send the Spurs to their first back-to-back -back losses of the season. And that'll do it for the Daily Sports Update, presented to you by Toyota Keeper Mouse, right here. CBSSports.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. If you missed anything here today, stop, refresh, and rewatch. I'm Amber Wilson.